So it turns out that Jones paid McMurray 500 bucks to point a finger at Bentley. Well, $500 to ruin a man's life, huh? Not to uh, sound all scooby, but he might have gotten away with it if not for you, Castle. <laughs> well, I'm always glad to help out my friends in law enforcement. Speaking of which, I would like to make a toast. Chief Brady, not everyone could have handled themselves the way you did on the dock today. You're a good cop. Chief Brady. Here's to you. Thank you, Detective Beckett. Mm. You can rest assured your secret is safe with me. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Shot the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you did. Nice. Yeah. Deputy. It's so great to meet you. Me too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let's go. Peace. Well, the case in the Hamptons has been solved, but the case of the secret boyfriend remains open. Turns out Beckett's FBI ex has been stationed in Europe for six months. Huh. What? You got anything? Nah. Nah, I was just thinking maybe we should drop it. You know, let Beckett's private life stay private. But you can give up? A real detective never gives up on a case, bro. You know it's not a real case, right? You're gonna tell me what a real case is. Uh, last time I checked, it's when there was a murder. Well, there's been a murder, all right? Your spirit. Wow. Your dignity, too. Huh. Well, you know what? Just for that, first round's on you. Yeah, good luck with that. First. You know what's funny? My cover was that I was coming out here to write, and I actually got an idea for a book. Oh, Hampton's Heat. They're serious about that, huh? Well, I already have the story, and that's the hardest part. So, do you have an ending yet? <laughs> oh, well... Uh... I had some ideas, but uh, I'm open to suggestions. How about this? The weekend hadn't turned out exactly as Detective Heat had imagined. But now, nothing. Oh. Not even another murder on the beach could stop her from getting exactly what she desired. Most. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 